Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that you are experiencing beautiful weather. We're actually getting 90 degree weather this weekend and I am so excited because it feels like summer is officially here. I actually wanted to update a few areas of my beauty routine as we head into summer. So I did pick up some new skincare, some new body products, a few makeup products as well. So I thought I would share them with you guys in today's video. I got everything from Walmart. I did shop in store and then I placed an order online as well. So I do wanna say thank you to to Walmart for sponsoring today's video. You guys, I love Walmart. They offer so many on-trend products at really great affordable prices in all different categories like home decor, fashion, beauty. Today I'm focusing on beauty, but if you want to see like a home decor or fashion video, let me know because they have some really good products in those areas as well. I've been shopping at Walmart forever. Ever since I was little, I actually got my first makeup products at Walmart. I can still Picture myself like walking down the aisle at Walmart with my mom picking out my first products. Walmart's beauty section is amazing. They have so many good affordable products and you guys know that I'm all about affordable makeup. I love affordable beauty. You don't have to spend a ton of money to get really high quality products and Walmart definitely offers a ton of great options. I've tested out a lot of these products so I can share my thoughts on them and let you guys know what I think in today's video. I'll link everything that I talk about in the description box below so you guys can shop through those links. You can find everything at Walmart and everything in today's video is under $15. So there are some really good products at really affordable prices that I think you guys will enjoy as well. So let's jump into it and I'll share some of the products I decided to grab as we head into summertime. Let me start with a skincare product. I do tend to switch up my skincare routine a lot during the seasons. And during the summer, I typically like really lightweight products. So I've actually been using a cleanser from the brand Versed. It is their gel cleanser. I'll link it in the description box below if you guys want to check it out because that's also available available at Walmart, but I decided to pick this up because I've been enjoying that so much. This is the Averse Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream. This is such a good product for the summertime or just the warmer weather in general if you like more of a lightweight moisturizer. The texture of this product is so good. It's super lightweight. It's very refreshing on the skin, but it leaves my skin feeling so moisturized all day long, but in the best way. It doesn't feel like I'm applying anything too heavy or greasy to the skin. It sinks in really nicely. So I feel like this is the perfect option for my oily skin. I love using it in the morning and at night because it's just so lightweight and it doesn't feel like I'm applying anything too intense to the skin, which can be the case with a lot of moisturizers. So I am really impressed by this. This brand is cruelty free. It's vegan. They have a ton of products and I definitely want to pick up more of their products now that I've tried their cleanser and this moisturizer because I've been so impressed by both of them. I also picked up this product, which I thought would be so good for the summertime. It's kind of similar to the Versed moisturizer, but it's meant for your body, and it's by the brand Kinlo. So Kinlo is a little bit of a newer brand to Walmart. It was created by Naomi Osaka. They offer a lot of sun care products specifically geared toward people with deeper skin tones. So they have like a tinted sunscreen, but they also have other products like a facial mist that sounds really nice. And this one definitely appealed to me. It is the Cooling Body Gel Moisturizer. So I thought I would try it out and this feels so good on the skin I'm just picturing that this is going to be amazing after like a long day at the beach or the pool I'm actually going to the beach with my family in June and I'm definitely going to be bringing this with me because when you apply this to the skin it feels so good. I just like the texture of this product because it's somewhat similar to the Versed skincare product where it just has this really nice gel texture. And I think that is so nice for the summertime because if you take a shower and then you apply a moisturizer that's really heavy and then you go outside and it's 90 degrees, sometimes it just feels like too much. But something like this is perfect because it's very, very lightweight. It sinks into the skin really quickly. And what's nice about this one compared to other body moisturizers is that it gives your skin that really nice cooling effect. It just feels really refreshing on the skin. And again, I think after like a long day at the beach when your skin just needs something really cooling, really soft, this is going to be such a good product. So I really like it so far, but I definitely think it's going to be a summertime staple. I actually really needed these next two products. So I actually used up some of my body scrubs over the last few months and I wasn't as good at exfoliating as I could have been this past winter. It was a very long, cold winter. I feel like my skin was so dry. So I was good at applying moisturizers, but I felt like I 
probably could have incorporated a body scrub a little more regularly. But now that the warm weather is here, this is definitely something I'll be using regularly because I like to use a body scrub before I self tan, before I shave, and even when I'm not doing either one of those things, I feel like it's still nice to use one. So I decided to try one from a new brand that I hadn't tried. This is by the brand Body by TPH, and this is the Baby Buffed Exfoliating Body Scrub. The reason why I picked this one up and it really appealed to me is because it combines physical exfoliation with chemical exfoliation. So this actually has some really good skincare benefits in it. And when I use this product, my skin feels so soft. After I rinse it off, I feel like my skin feels like I applied almost like a light lotion to it and it just feels and looks super smooth. So I cannot wait to keep using this one during the summertime. You get a ton of product in here and one thing that makes a big difference is I really like this packaging. This is something small that makes a big difference when it comes to body scrubs. The opening is large. So when body scrubs come in a jar, they're not my favorite because I feel like water gets in them very easily. But when they come in these squeezy tubes, sometimes the opening isn't very big. So you have to really put a lot of work into getting the product out. It's such a specific concern, but if you use a lot of body scrubs, you probably know what I'm talking about. This is such a good sized bottle because, or a good sized cap, because when you squeeze the product out, the perfect amount comes out. It comes out easily. You don't have to, you know, put a ton of work into it. And I just love that about this product on top of everything else. So I just thought I would mention that. I think that this will definitely be an absolute staple for me. And I like this. I think that it's gentle enough to use fairly regularly, but it definitely needs your skin feeling smooth. I've heard nothing but good things about the brand Billy, and I've been wanting to try them out for a while. They're actually available exclusively at Walmart. So I thought now would be a good time to pick them up because I actually needed a new razor and shaving cream. So I grabbed the Dream Pop Starter Kit. What's really nice about this brand is it's affordable. Everything is under $10, which is amazing. And again, they have really good reviews online. And after trying out the products, I totally understand why. So this kit comes with one razor handle, and then you also get two five blade razor refills. And then you also get this little magnetic holder that you can put in your shower. I already put mine in there. So I'll do a little close up shot for you guys so you can see what it looks like but I absolutely love this. It's super cute, but the razor is so nice. It has this moisturizing cushion around it. So as you shave, your skin feels so soft, but you also get a really close shave. And afterwards, my skin just feels really, really smooth overall. Sometimes when I shave, I feel like my skin feels incredibly dry and I have to use a really thick, heavy moisturizer. That's not the case with this one. I actually didn't even apply moisturizer to my legs this morning after using this because they already felt super soft. This starter kit is under $10, which is such a good deal. Razors and razor refills can be very, very expensive. And in here you get the razor and you get the two five blade razor refills. So definitely check this out if you've been curious about Billy. I totally understand the hype. I also decided to try their whipped shave cream. This one is in the fresh lavender and bergamot scent. This is a nice option. It's a non aerosol can, which is really nice too, but it's this really soft like whipped texture. So when you apply it to the skin, a little bit goes a long way and it just smooths over your skin really nicely. So I like using this in combination with the razor and I'm impressed. I totally understand the hype. One more thing before I get into some makeup products I picked up, this is by the brand Rainbow Beauty. These are so cute. They're so much fun. They're the Bye Bye Blemish Patches. I actually used one last night because I was getting a little bit of a breakout right here. And you guys, these work so well. I tried blemish patches for the first time, I think last year. So at this point, I have tried a couple of brands. My big complaint with blemish patches is that a lot of the time they're super small and I don't know what kind of breakouts people are getting, but my breakouts are not always super small. Otherwise, I wouldn't have the need for a blemish patch. These appeal to me because not only are they fun, they're a little bit different, they're really big. The way that I use these is at night after I wash my face, if I feel like there is a blemish coming on, I'll take one of these. Last night I used the heart eye emoji and I'll just apply it to that area on my face. And then in the morning when I wake up, I take it off and the blemish is significantly diminished. It makes such a difference, especially if you catch it really early on. And I just thought these were fun. They stay in place while well. they stay in place all night. You guys, I've tried other brands where I'll wake up in the morning and I can't find it or it like ends up in my hair on my pillow. These do not move. So I love these so much. I think they work really, really well and they're affordable too. So let me share some makeup products I picked up. You guys, Walmart has such a good selection when it comes to makeup and their products are affordable. You guys know that I love affordable makeup. It is the best. I get so happy when I find 
a great product for an affordable price point. So I actually picked up a couple of new things and then I repurchased two of my favorite formulas in different colors for summer. So let me start with those. I grabbed two blushes. I'm on such a blush kick lately. One formula specifically that I love for the summer is just the Milani Baked Blush Formula. I think it looks so good. It's very lightweight, so it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything too heavy on the skin. And they just give your skin like that naturally luminous glow. So I actually grabbed a new shade. I'm wearing it today. I went in with a very light hand because you can definitely build this up to be pretty intense on the cheeks as well. This is the shade Sunset Passion. It is a gorgeous shade. You guys, this is so pretty. If you're looking for like a blush bronzer hybrid, this is going to be amazing. It really is going to give you that like I've just been out in the sun all day sort of look, but also add like that natural luminous glow. It's so pretty. And like I said, I used a really light hand today, but you could definitely go in with more for a more vibrant look. And this formula is just so smooth. It looks amazing on the skin. So I'm excited about this. It's been a little while since I've purchased a new shade from this line. And I just recently, I've been reminded how much I enjoyed this formula, but I don't have a shade quite like this. So I'm excited to have this one. I also grabbed the Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blush in the shade Nude Kiss. So I did have a couple of these in my collection, but they were very intense, vibrant shades. And I mean, these shades are kind of similar. If you can see, I kind of have a blush type right now. I'm really feeling like these rosy toned blushes. If you haven't tried this formula, it's such a gorgeous cream formula. It's very easy to work with. It gives your skin like a fresh, dewy look. And I think it stays in place really well, even on oily skin. It blends out super easily. It's a very effortless product. So even though summer is right around the corner, I still like cream blushes because, you know, in the past I would think that creams would melt off my skin by the end of the day, especially during the summer, but there's just something so fresh about it that I can't get enough of them. So I decided to grab these two. I know that I love the formulas and these colors will be great additions to my collection because I don't have anything quite like these. I have a couple of these rosier blushes, but I think this one will be really nice too. I actually grabbed one more blush. I haven't tried this one yet. This is from Profusion. I love Profusion. I talk about them a lot on my channel and a lot of you guys ask me like, where can I find Profusion? I get a lot of their products at Walmart because that is pretty much the only retailer that I know of that carries Profusion. But this is the Blush Hour Soft Matte Liquid Blush and I got the shade Bellini. I've seen people talk about these on TikTok. This was super affordable. I think it was like a $4 blush. It's basically a liquid blush, but it's supposed to blend out really, really nicely. So I think I'll actually try this on camera for the first time. I'm planning on doing like a testing new drugstore makeup video, but it looks really pretty and I don't have anything quite like this. So I can't wait to try it out. I did grab two new complexion products. I'm actually wearing this one today. It is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. So I had purchased this product maybe like a month ago, but I got a shade that was just too dark for me. So I actually was shopping in stores at Walmart and I saw this one and I was like, that will be a good shade match. And this is actually like my most ideal shade match. This looks so good on the skin. So I went with the shade Vanilla. I feel like I've heard nothing but good things about this. A lot of you guys have told me to try this out and it's such a nice texture. It's a very smooth concealer that blends out super easily. I used it two ways today. So I used it to spot conceal before I went in with foundation and then I also used it under the eyes. And I like it because it looks a little bit more dewy compared to like full coverage, long lasting matte concealers that I tend to reach for. So I'm excited to keep using this one. I think it looks super smooth, really pretty on the skin. I also grabbed a new foundation. This is by Oma Beauty by Sharon C. I've heard really good things about this brand. It's a black owned beauty brand. They have quite a few products. So if you guys have any other recommendations, you'll have to let me know in the comments, but this is the Flawless IRL Skin Perfecting Foundation. And I got the shade Fair Lady T1. I haven't tried this one out yet, so I can't share my initial thoughts, but it's supposed to be a medium to full coverage foundation with which is long lasting, transfer proof with a soft, radiant, natural finish. It also has skincare benefits to it as well. The packaging is gorgeous. It comes in this really beautiful, like almost slightly frosted glass bottle. They had a really amazing shade selection. And like I said, the brand as a whole looks like it has some really cool products. So I'm definitely curious to try more. I think I'll pick up the mascara. There's also a lip oil, but I thought I would start with the foundation first. I did pick up a few new hair products just to kind of switch it up for the summertime. 
This is a set that I am so excited about. So I used to use this brand and this formula years ago, and then Garnier went cruelty-free not too long ago, so I've really been playing around with a lot of their products, and I've enjoyed them so much. They have this leave-in conditioning cream that is so good. I'll link it below so you guys can check it out in case you're curious too, but I finally picked up the Sleek and Shine Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner again. I'm so excited to have these back again. I used them today, and I forgot how much I loved this formula because this leaves your hair super smooth, really sleek, very shiny. And I feel like that's so nice during the summertime because once the humidity comes, my hair starts to get really frizzy. I have a lot of flyaways. So a product that just kind of leaves everything sleek, shiny, smooth is so ideal for me. This actually came as a set. So you get both of these products in one set. And I, I honestly couldn't believe the price point. I think these were under $6. I think this is a newer release from Garnier Fruities. I haven't tried this product, but it sounded really, really nice. It's the Sleek and Shine Glass Hair Water. So this is really interesting. It's a 10 second smoothing rinse out treatment. It's supposed to give you a mirror like shine and leave your hair 10 times smoother. So I will definitely put this to the test and let you guys know what I think. I like this because on the back, they kind of have it, they kind of have it mapped out. So along the side, you can see it says like, one dose, one dose, one dose. So you can really see how much you need to use. And on the back it says if you have fine hair, you should use one to two doses and then two to three doses for thicker hair. So after you shampoo your hair, you squeeze out all of the excess water and then apply the product to your hair, massage in for 10 minutes and then rinse it out. So I'm really curious to see if this works. I will definitely keep you guys posted. I haven't tried it yet, but it does sound really nice. I like the bottle. I like that it has like that really precise applicator. So I can't wait to use this. And then I also picked up this product from Garnier Fruities as well. It is the Extreme Control Hairspray. I'm almost out of my current hairspray. So I thought now would be a good time to try this one out. It says 24 hour hold anti-humidity, which is what I need during the summertime because it gets really humid. It's actually really humid in the room right now because like I said, it's going to be 90 degrees today. So this will be a really good weekend to put this to the test. I'll try it out tomorrow and I'll let you guys know if it works well. The last thing I picked up is from EOS. It's the Shea Butter Hydrating Hand Sanitizer in Coconut Waters. I just thought this would be a nice thing to have. I like to keep hand sanitizer in my car because if we're at the park or we're at the grocery store and I just feel like we're doing a lot of things and I don't always have access to wash my hands or like a bathroom right around me, then this obviously will come in handy. And a lot of hand sanitizers dry my hands out. For some reason, my hands are so sensitive and this past winter, they were so so incredibly dry. I think it's because we have a baby, we were just washing our hands more than ever. So every like harsh product would really irritate my hands, including a lot of hand sanitizers. This is such a good formula. It is so comfortable on the hands. It feels a lot more hydrating than any hand sanitizer I've tried. It doesn't dry out my hands. I can really notice the difference. It also smells really good because it does have that coconut water scent, but it's made with shea oil. So it's supposed to be more of a hydrating hand sanitizer, but it still sinks in quickly. So I love this product. I'm just keeping it in the cup holder in my car because I know it will come in handy. And if you're looking for something similar, I definitely recommend picking this up. They had another scent, which I also wanted to try. So after I use this one up, I might try that one out, but I love this product. It is so, so good. Okay, guys, that's everything I wanted to share with you in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll make sure to link everything that I talked about in the description box below. You can shop all of these products at Walmart for under $15. So really great, affordable options, especially if you're looking to switch up your beauty routine or add some products to your routine for the summertime or really any time of the year. It doesn't necessarily have to be really warm where you live to enjoy these products. I think they're just really great options a really good price point. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye.